And this is exercise 2.2, installing failover clustering. We will probably combine this with creating a failover cluster. We'll see how we are on time. This is found in lab two, configuring failover clustering in the configuring advanced Windows Server 2012 services R2, part of the Microsoft official academic course in preparation for exam 70-412. So we're going to install failover clustering. So we're going to start by going into server one. And as you can see, we're going to basically do what we do here in server one. We're going to do this in server two. So we're going to do this. I'm going to try and do simultaneously, but we'll see how that works. All right, there's server one. I'm going to close out of computer management. <clears throat> Here is server two. Move this over a little bit. There we go. Okay, so we're going to start by going into server one, opening up the server manager dialog box. Click on Manage, Add Rules and Features, Next, 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 and then Next to Features. And we want to select Failover Clustering, which is right here, Add Features, Next and then install. While that's installing, I'm going to jump over to server two and do the same exact thing. Manage, add roles and features. Next, next, next. And we're on server roles. Next, failover clustering. Add features, next, and then install. So I'm waiting for both of these to go ahead and install. And I'm going to pause the video for sake of time. And I'll resume as soon as these are both completed. Okay, now I'm going to start exercise 2.3, which is creating a failover cluster. In this exercise, you're going to create a failover cluster using two virtual machines running Windows Server 2012 R2. We're going to look at the requirements used to create a failover cluster using the two servers. The approximate time for this is 25 minutes. So let's get started by going on to Server 1. And I'm on Server 1. And we're going to right click the network and open the network and sharing center. And we want to click on Ethernet 2, which is right here. And then click on properties. Scroll down to IPv4 properties. And we're going to change this IP address to 5.1. And then click on OK. And then close. And then close. And then close. Now we're going to do the same, basically the same thing in server 2. Move this over a little bit. Right click, open network and sharing, select on Ethernet 3, go into properties, IPv4, properties, 
And this is going to be 192, 168, 5, Two, and then OK, close, close, close. Now we're going to go back to server one, click on tools, failover cluster manager. In the Actions pane, we're going to click on Validate Configuration. And then next, we're going to type in Server01 and Add, and then Server Zero two, and then add, and then next. Uh, we're going to leave this marked, and then click uh, click on next. Now, when the summary is done, we're going to have to scroll through to verify that everything is passed. You will get two warnings. The first one is going to say validate IP configuration and validate network. This is caused by not having a usable adapter with a defined default gateway. Okay, so we're just going to scroll through. Everything looks okay. We're going to click on Next, I'll put this on a pause the video while I wait for this to run. Okay, it looks like everything worked out fine, so I'm going to click on Finish, and then click on Next, and here we're going to type in Cluster1, and uncheck the box next to 192.168.5.0. So we're going to uncheck that box, and... We have 192.168.1.0 And next to this, we're going to click on Type to Address. So, So I'm going to check both of these and call this cluster one. Here we go. So I want to add. One nine two one six eight three 
three dash zero. And this one should be one nine two. Okay, so one nine two one six eight three dash zero. Two one six eight one dot five two, and then we should have nine two one six eight. Three zero. There we go. And then next and then we want to add all eligible storage cluster already selected. And then next. Minimize server two, just get that out of the way. Okay, and then go ahead and click on finish. We want to expand. Our cluster one. And this is the end of this exercise. The next exercise is going to be configuring the quorum.